Tadzink is one of the methods used by leadable blue hives to make extra honey. Tadzink takes advantage of the blue field booster by letting your tadults follow you to whatever field you boost. For example, if your main gets a boost in blue flower, then your tadults won't stay in pine. They'll move to blue flower as well, so you can continue getting the pollination and bubbles to make you more honey. For example, if you're making around 3 trill an hour, you can expect to make 4 to 4.5 trill an hour from getting Tadzink. The honey increase is dependent on your king beetle amulet, since it can have extra pollen for both blue flower and bamboo, which of course are fields we care about with Tadzink. How do we actually set this up? We need a few things. We need at least one Tadult, a Discord server, and a Discord bot for each account, as it uses remote control. There are actually a few ways to do this, but the easiest way in my opinion is using Vertical's Fork of Natura. Another reason to use this one is that it includes Glitter Extension, although that isn't the focus of this video. It's also easier to set up. Firstly, we'll go to Vertical's GitHub, which is this link and is also in the description. At the time of making this, version 1.0.2.1 is the latest version, but in the future, there might be newer versions, so grab the newest one. All we do is click on the natro underscore extension zip to download it. Now we can extract it to wherever you'd like. We want to have a copy of this for the main and any alt accounts, so I'll repeat this for the title I'll be demonstrating with. If you don't want to download it again, you can also just copy the files across like I'm doing here. If you have settings from your current Natura you want to keep, you can copy the Paths, Patterns, and Settings folder into the new extended version of Natura. Now we need to set up Remote Control. You'll do this for every account, but I'll just show it for one since it's the same process for each. This allows us to tell the alt what field to gather in through Discord. It's important to make sure you only have access to the channels these bots will use, Otherwise, this is a security risk. If you've already set up remote control for your accounts, which you can check by running the help command, you can skip until the time shown on the screen. If not, we need to make a new Discord bot. To do this, we head over to the Discord developer portal, which is in the description. Now we choose to make a new application, and then head over to the bot tab where we can choose to give message content privileges. If you forget this, it will not be able to read any messages. We will then reset our token. You can only see this once, otherwise you have to reset it. So I'd suggest writing this down on something like notepad while we do this. Now we open the fork of Natro we downloaded. and go to the status page. Now click change Discord settings. We then click on the Discord logo to use a bot instead of a webhook and use the right icon to paste our bot token in. Now we will invite the Discord bot to our server. If you need to make a new Discord server, you can do it by clicking the plus at the bottom of your server list and making your own server. Then I'll make some channels for my accounts. We want the idea of the channel we just made, but to see it, we need to be in developer mode. To enable this, we go to settings and advanced. Here we can enable developer mode. Now, when we right click the channel we just made, we can copy the channel ID and open back up the fork of Natro. We put this channel in the main channel ID box. I'll then invite the bot to my server. We go back to the Discord developer portal and open the installation tab. Now scroll down to guild install and click the drop down box and select bot. For permissions, we need send messages, embed links, attach files, view channels and read message history. It only needs these permissions, so that's all I'll give it. We save our changes, and then copy and open the install link. Now in Discord, we can add it to the server we just made.
And now this account has remote control set up, and we can test it by running the question mark help command. As you can see, it does respond. For each alt account, we do the exact same, including making a new Discord bot. However, this time we can use the same Discord server, and instead just make a new channel for each alt. You can see I've done the same process again, setting up remote control for an alt account. Now that remote control is set up, we can set up Tadsync, which is a lot easier. For this, we'll start with the main account. We open the miscellaneous tab and choose field following. We click to enable this and choose leader for the follow mode. We're going to make a new channel for Tadsync to use in Discord and paste a channel ID into Natro. Next, we move to the alt account. Here, we choose follower instead. In most cases, you'll want to choose 900 seconds for the time, which is 15 minutes. If you are using glitter extension, you might want to use 1800 seconds here for 30 minutes. This is how long your tad alts will stay in the boosted field before returning to pine. Again, we use the same channel ID here. Now Tadsync is actually set up and ready to go. I've gone ahead and adjusted my macro settings to the use of patterns I want, and now we can test it. You can see here my main account and a tattle. This is a Discord channel we set up just a second ago. After the main account collects the blue field booster, you can see the tattle does move to the desired field. I didn't import my walk to hive pattern, so it actually fails to return to hive and resets, but this isn't something you'll experience. If you want to set the patterns you used, remember to click the save icon in Natro, otherwise they'll revert back to the default patterns for each field. I'm also using RDP here to run two accounts, and I have a tutorial on this if you're interested. The link can be found in the description. And there we go, that is Tadsync set up and working. If you need help or experience issues, feel free to ask on the Discord server or in the comments, but you'll likely get a fast response through Discord. Hopefully you've learned something new, and good luck pursuing those leaderboards.